Well, good morning and welcome back. Of course, we had to talk about the jackrabbit in the room today. <laughs> that was a good one. It was an unfamiliar sight in Frisco, Texas for the first time ever. The Bison are coming back to Fargo without a championship trophy. South Dakota State defeated NDSU 45-21 to at Toyota Stadium. Valley News Team's Courtney Lockie caught up with fans before the game, who you'll notice are very, very excited. And then we get a look at the aftermath as well. <laughs> What started as an exciting morning for Bison fans filling the tailgate lots. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. Have a good time, man. Have a good time. Go Bison, man. Go Bison. Go Bison. Go Bison. Go Bison. Go Bison. Go Bison. Let's go. Quickly spiraled into a heartbreaking afternoon. South Dakota State got off to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Instead of rushing the field for the 10th time, Bison fans rushed out of the gates into their cars. A tough loss, one fan say they hope they never have to experience again. South Dakota was just a better team and uh, we needed to play a really good game offensively and defensively, but I think the better team won today. They can have one, but they're not getting another. Yeah, That's all it's I gotta easy. Say. It's That's easy. All I gotta a good team won today, but the best program didn't. The best was a miss. <laughs> Horns up, baby. Let's go. Next year, we're back. <laughs> Grow hurt till we die, but SDSU is never coming back. It's That's that true. simple. That's true. It's that simple. Losing definitely is not something the Bison are used to, but they say they will still be celebrating a successful season tonight and know that there are more chances to come. In Frisco, Courtney Lockie, Valley News Live. <laughs> and then, of course, she ends on camera with that herd of blue all walking by her yelling, go oh, blue. No. So, yeah, you can even time. hear the change of tone in her voice <laughs> after that loss. Like, we started out so excited. Yeah. We've got all of our big buses here, <laughs> all of the, you know, diehard tailgaters yeah. all there ready to rock. Everyone's just high energy, ready to go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But they were still, all the fans, obviously, we're all go Bison, but they were yeah. still very respectful yeah that was nice wasn't yeah. it they were yep. like a good team won but a better mm -hmm. program loss which is a great way to spin that i love that yep yep absolutely uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh. dedicated fans yeah well, you know it. our team had a good time too i'm assuming it's nice to get in that weather for the weekend oh yeah for sure and, and just to have that opportunity i bet that they yeah. had a great time yeah as long as everyone had fun <laughs> honestly i didn't i personally did not watch the game you didn't um, at all? I didn't. No. no uh, I did get um, little updates from <laughs> my neighbor in my apartment who used to oh, be yeah. an NDSU Bison football yeah. player. Yeah. Um, he was telling me they were losing and he was very disappointed. Yeah. Um, but that was the only updates I got, I guess. Wow. Well, that's yeah. the only one he needed. <laughs> from the true, the true NDSU Bison alum. <laughs> So, <laughs> well, we got that over with. We're just going to move on now. Yes. Uh, coming up on today's show, you don't have to be locked in your house all winter. West Fargo Parks District will be joining us with a lot of fun things for you and the entire family to do, even when there's snow on the ground. So stick around, everybody. We'll be right back.